Hi, this is Martin. Um, quick video here about how to configure a couple of panels in the dimmer. Okay, here we go. Um, we have, I've already loaded these in. Uh, if you want to see how to do that, see one of my uh, other videos on YouTube. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, look at the virtual. Here in the virtual, we've actually got the scenes and the channels as a result of uploading the control panels and uh, the dimmer into uh, ICANN Soft. Let's look at the devices again here. Here we've got a panel, it's already been given a name. Currently it's all in Area 1. Likewise, here's the second panel, is exactly the same, all in Area 1, pre-configured. And the source controller, here are the outputs here. Again, all in Area 1, already got some names in this one by the looks of it. Okay, but either way we're going to work our way through that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is, we're not going to use area 1 because we're actually going to create two new areas. Alright, go up to the top of the screen here, right hand mouse, add area. We're going to have uh, area 11. And we're going to give it a name of uh, meeting room. Uh, number 1. We're going to add 8 scenes and we're going to add 8 channels. At the moment it doesn't really matter that we add more channels. All right. Okay, here it is. All right. Eight scenes, eight channels. Notice they're in red because they're not allocated to anything at the moment. Okay, well let's add another area. Okay, we'll add area uh, 22. Okay. And we'll make this one meeting room 2. Okay, do that. Okay, now we've actually got all of our areas. Click on the plus by the side, you can see exactly the same. Alright, collapse those down. Right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to just do a little configuration of these channels. We'll make this one down lights. Alright, okay. And this channel we're going to make the wall lights. Can you spot it? Yep. Okay, do exactly the same in here, except in here we've got uh, wall lights. And maybe some center down lights. Up to us what we want to name it. Okay, alright. So, a couple of ways we can actually do this. Uh, we can either go into here and just go and change the area. Right. There we go, that's one way. Right. That means that channel is now allocated to there, or we can drag this across. Right. The other option is that we can go and change the channel. So I've clicked on line 3, hold down the shift key, and I can actually change both the channels area at the same time. Drop down. Right now, I can go and change the area here, the uh, channel. Right this time, we might want uh, this to be channel two in uh, area twenty-two, and this one to be channel one. Okay, everything else is now done. Don't worry about all these configurations around here at the moment. This is depends on how you actually want it. Wouldn't normally have a minimum level of uh, ten. We can easily change all of those together. There we go. So configuration is all done here. Click on the apply. Send it to the device. Now you might say, why haven't these actually changed? But if I actually refresh these, you'll notice they've actually changed. Likewise up here. Right, these have refreshed as well. Okay. Now we do have some channels in here that we don't actually need, so we can right hand mouse here and we go remove channels with no outputs, removed, okay, do the same here, remove channels with no outputs, and all the red ones go away. Right. Now next up is to actually go and reconfigure the panels. Okay, we're going to use this one here in meeting room 1, okay, so we change the name. Oh, not like that, meeting room 1. Okay, and we can click on apply, that will save the name. Notice the name appears over here. Now as the panel is already configured to this configuration, here it is here. All right, we go over here and we can just do change area, which is the simplest way to actually do it. And we make that one like that. Okay, so now these buttons will actually send out area 11 messages to control our first two channels. All right, let's go to the other device, maximize it here. I can go round and change all these individually if I wanted to. See, like this. And I can also change the action as well. Right. Or I can click on here, hold down the shift key, 
and I can change that common feature of the area all in one go. Click on apply. Job done. Okay, we use the standard scenes which are already configured into the unit but we've done the basic configuration. Okay.